Hi everyone, so starting off with this mixed white pencil and just sketching out where I want my cuts or scars to be. So now using tissue paper and rolling it so we could use it for the scars and of course adhesive, adhesing it or how do you say, gluing it with liquid latex. So you want to dip it in the liquid latex, place it on your face where the mark is already on and then place a little bit of liquid latex on top of it so it can be really really secure. This part does take a little bit of time just because you have to do it in every little spot you mark, but you'll love the end result. To me, I think I did the, the scars a little bit too thick, so if you want to do it a little bit slimmer so they can look a little bit more realistic, that's up to you. I like the end result, but I do think I could have made the scars a little bit slimmer. And what I mean by slimmer is get less tissue paper when you're rolling it. So this is how it should start looking with all the scars on your face already. Now Edward's face is not white, so I just used the lightest color of foundation I found and it was the Maybelline Fit Me foundation in the color porcelain and Edward doesn't have a contact lens, but I just wanted to make it a little bit spooky. <laughs> now using the Jaclyn Hill X Morphe palette and using this bronze um, shade, so I could do the shading he has around his eyes. So I wanted to make the eyes as flat as they could be, so I mixed in a little bit of the black shade as well and just deepened the shading until you, until, 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 I saw not go, <laughs> until you get the darkness you desire and this is what I came up with and I loved how the eyes came out. And now shading under my bottom lip so it can look a little bit more pouty. And with the Kat Von D Shade and Light Contouring Palette, I'm going to contour all over my face and neck with the lightest shade in the palette.
Now we're using the Jaclyn Hill Exomorphic palette again and using that black shade and crunching my lips together so I can fill in, the, fill in the center of my lips. And this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe down below and see you in my next video. Happy Halloween, you guys! Bye!